you've probably heard the term stem mammal and thought it sounded like some dry scientific jargon. But what if I told you it has the key to understanding a huge chapter in our own evolutionary story? Let's break it down. A stem mammal is basically any creature on our family tree after we split from the reptiles. But before true mammals appeared, to see them up close, we're heading back in time to the Texas redbeds, a treasure trove of fossils. Here we find the famous Demetrodon. Now most people think it's a dinosaur, but it's not. It's one of us. A syn synapsids have a special opening in their skull behind their eyes. This let their jaw muscles get stronger and more complex. Look at its mouth. Look at its mouth. It had different kinds of teeth for cutting, stabbing, and crushing. That was a game changer, and that giant sail on its back. It wasn't just for show. It likely worked like a radiator to control its body temperature, and it was probably used to impress mates. As we move forward in time, we meet the Theropsids, the next generation stem mammals. They had even stronger jaws. Their legs were positioned more underneath their bodies for better movements, and they developed a secondary palate. This meant they could breathe while chewing, something we'd do without thinking. Finally, we get to the first true mammals. They were small, often nocturnal, and had some amazing new features. They had fur to stay warm, three tiny bones in their middle ear for super sensitive hearing, and they produced milk for their young. All these upgrades helped their brains get bigger and more complex, setting the stage for everything that came after. So the stem, uh, in stem mammal doesn't mean almost or not quite. It means they were the foundation the research and development department of our lineage. They were the pioneers who experimented with warm-bloodedness, better bites, and parental care. Think of it like a project. The pelicosaurs built the scaffolding. The therapsids tested the designs, and the early mammals moved into the fully furnished office. The next time you see a Dimitri Don in a museum or a movie, remember it's not just some weird reptile, it's an ancient cousin, a prototype that helped pave the way for us. These creatures aren't a forgotten past. They're the innovators that made our own existence possible. If you enjoyed this deep dive into our family history, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Let me know in the comments which ancient relative you'd like to meet next. Thanks for watching.